guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and welcome to what is going to be a very cool video ahead, a very cool opportunity where we have uh, just arrived at Goodwood Motor Circuit and today I'm going to show you something which is, this is a world exclusive isn't it? Pretty I think much, so, yeah. pretty much a world exclusive. Um, first of all I'm starring in a commercial uh, but not only that, there's a very cool car which you're going to see in today's video and this is a Lamborghini drift car but before we get on to that um, I've kindly been invited down by Red Bull and uh, I'm going to be starring in the Red Bull commercial today um, which is a cool opportunity whenever you make uh, videos on this channel it's amazing where things take you um, and this is one where today I'm going to heavily enjoy it and there's lots of cars parked up including my Mercedes A35 and that's actually going to be starring in the thing when I say starring you know like you know what I mean happen is there's a drift car that's going to come through it's going to drift around and I believe my Mercedes A35 is not going to be part of this park no no. I'm, I'm, I'm having an argument with a parking attendant. Yeah, oh yeah. So, uh, that's your main anyway, role. we better get cracking. Well, first of all this, which we see here, we are going to talk a little bit more about that, um, which is the crazy drift car. But um, right now I'm just going to get changed because uh, the, well, the role that I'm playing, I need to wear a suit. And uh, yeah, basically what I do is I come in in my A35, parking attendant says that I'm um, not allowed in, and I basically have to say, well, I can see there's a space, blah, blah, blah. And then Mad Mike, the drifter, goes off drifting, drifts around the car park, and I'm just like, what the hell's going on? So I'm going to be in a suit in a minute. Chaos! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you've never seen me like this before. How do I look? Oh, mate, you look very dapper. So I'm, I'm heading to the ball, and I'm uh, ready to go. Right, before we get cracking, and before I'm Daniel Craig's replacement in the next film, <laughs> because I feel like I'm the part. Um, what's going on? Let's talk about um, this incredible car which is behind me, and this is the first ever Lamborghini drift car. We know Red Bull do some crazy stuff, but what they've done here with uh, Mad Mike, Ma Mad Mike is one of the best drifters in the world as well, they have built this drift car. And they've built this in about four weeks, I believe, correct? Yes. Okay. So as you can see, it looks totally unreal, doesn't it? Um, and yeah, like I say, what Red Bull do is incredible. Making this is unreal. As you can see, it's on air as well. So where it's sat right now, it's uh, literally just on air. Um, so it's sat on the floor. So I, I don't actually think you could probably put a finger. No, you can't even put little finger. Not even little finger. So that's it. It's on air. Look at the mate. You you missed. Oh, oh yeah, we've got to talk a, about that as well. There is a camera trap behind us. So Dakar Dakar rally. Yes, it's won the Dakar already, that one. Catch up. You can see all the extended arches as well, so all this uh, is extended. Um, there's a lot more which we are going to talk about, and uh, Mike, when the moment I can get hold of him, see the handbrake is just there. So uh, it's a fully a drift car because the handbrake is literally sat there. Um, he's got a snack, he's actually got a Red Bull and a couple of things in there. Um, but yeah, you've got the gear shifter which are here, you've got your handbrake there, uh, your two pedals. Shown in the NOS. Oh. No. <laughs> Casual. Proper chance to hear it. It looks um, like it might have quite a good exhaust system. Just, just. I mean, if we have a look at these. I know. I know the exhaust on it as well. And we will. Yeah, like I say, we will get a proper thing. But even like, I love little things like afterburner exit and the the livery which it's on. It's like kind of like a matte grey, but it's like a it's a race livery, isn't it? A uh, truck which is here as well. Actually, won the Dakar Rally, I believe. I mean. Let, shall I stand next to it and then you can actually see yeah. it? Next to yeah, it. I'll stand a bit back so we can see the scale. How do I look? <laughs> Quite small. I'm 5'9. I'm not, I'm 5'8. I like saying 5'9. Um, but yeah, how unreal is that? Dakar Rally is incredible, but it's amazing, isn't it? I've always been a fan of the Dakar Rally as well. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> You know what in there? The size like, of the suspension. <laughs> yeah, look at the size of the suspension. It's chaos. <laughs> it is unreal. Look, at, have you seen the spare tyres at the back? 
that's jumping over the Lamborghini. I think that's one of the shots for today, yeah, is that we're gonna, they're gonna try and jump this over the Lambo, so. I mean, that is just chaos in itself. No, I'm, I'm actually in, yeah. and that's the, it's not an ad. No. This is the man stopping me when I come into the car park. Nah, you can't drink that here, sorry man. Do you want to do a run for it? Yeah. I'm coming in, to, I'm here to park my car for the ball. Car park's full. No, but there's a space in there. Car, it's full, car park's full, sorry. But I'm here for the ball when there is... Oh, I'm not interested in that, someone else is parking there, sorry. You have to go. We don't have room for you. I'll call my manager, oh, you'll have to leave now, sorry. No. <laughs> Here we go, and action! I'm looking to park my car for the ball, but it says car park's park full. Park. It says car park's full. Yeah, full, car park's full, sorry. But I can see a space, no right No, you're not listening to me, I said it's full. Thank you. I can see the I'll space. I'll call my manager, you're not listening to me. But why do you have to be like this? And action! It's empty, I can see the space. I'm not interested in what now. Oh, right. Cut that. Good. Cut, cut, thank you. How was that? Yeah, you're a pretty good actor. Today. Really? Yeah, yeah. Was that, how was that? First time acting. So, who's this? Who's this? What's he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? No, no. Are you with him? Yeah, no. Oh, but you'll have to leave too then. Off you go. That's enough. <laughs> May I introduce you to Mike? Yeah, I, I must say that I'm much faster at getting in a race suit and I'm glad I don't have to wear like a tux every day to work because it seriously took me about an hour to freaking get this thing on and I needed some help. <laughs> get up the buttons and get my collar. Yeah, I wasn't very good at that either. I've been driving this, drifting it, everything else, and you built this. <laughs> Yeah, it's been pretty crazy actually since Goodwood Festival of Speed last year. Um, we met Stefano, CEO of Lamborghini and Luco's marketing manager. And, um, you know, I've been coming to Festival of Speed now for really six years. And every year cars get more and more wild. And Lord March and Duke of Richmond were asking, like, how do you get any more crazy than the Mad Bull, which we had last year, which is my generation seven. Uh, point three, we say point three because it's a half RX3, half RX7, but yeah. that car was my first drift car. It's been through seven different, I call generations or personalities. Yeah. Um, and yeah, to get any more wild than that thing, I was like, well, we built a drift supercar. Well, a supercar that can drift. <laughs> and yeah, I met the right people here. We are not even a, a year later, and we had the car for four weeks. We wanted a right hand drive one, so from Italy. Um, we had to wait, it was another two month wait for us to be able to get a Lamborghini that was right hand drive. Rear wheel drive? It had to be rear wheel drive of yeah. course, uh, which is um, really cool, like even in factory trim. So we just like now we're filming another part of the doco as well as the film shoot today. But we uh, have showcased the whole build series of literally from picking the car up from Lamborghini in Auckland to driving it out to my my like home base is at Hampton Downs, so our race shop is at the racetrack. It's insane. So I took it straight on the racetrack and put it through its paces. Okay. So obviously if we start from all the stuff you can't see, there's stuff like the steering geometry. So for drifting we want more steering lock. So Lamborghini have supplied some knuckles um, and we've modified um, and made our own tie rods, spaced the steering rack, done all that sort of stuff so we can get the right geometry that we want. Um, made our own sway bars and links and all that. Wow. Um, suspension, it runs at Eric's Yeah, we can show you, Patrick, we can show the, show the suspension. Yeah. So it's so, insane. Um, yeah, so this is this is 100% just a bag. So there's no coil, a lot of setups you'll have a coil over with a bag on top, which can lift it, you know, to get up and down driveways. But this is, we want it to air out so it can literally sit like this on the floor. Um, wow. So yeah, we go from yeah, Airx full digital um, air ride suspension. Um, also underneath this, well, we still retain the factory 5.2 liter V10, yep. naturally aspirated, which is like 
the coolest sounding supercar. Yeah. I'm like a purist when it comes to naturally aspirated. And we had one rule with Lamborghini with this build was that it must stay naturally aspirated. So I had no issue with that. So we've done um, nitrous, we've done the <laughs> FI um, exhaust system, yeah. um, we've done a Cybex ECU, um, yeah, KN filters, uh, just a bunch of stuff. We're actually going to do some after this film shoot because the car actually got here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're already straight into filming. I've only done like five laps of this thing back home before I had to go in a container. So we have five days in between this film shoot and Goodwood. So we're gonna go on the dyno, we've got some local boys from Cybex gonna come and have a play and um, give us some more power, but we reckon we should be able to get about 900 horsepower out of it. <laughs> and a stock naturally aspirate, well, a naturally aspirate. That's setup. insane. Most people would think it's a, it's a vinyl wrap, but it's actually painted. You painted it? So yeah, myself and GT refinishes, so I did all the masking, um, so some local boys, some friends back home in New Zealand, um, they've yeah. got their own paint booth and shop and they do a lot of stuff, so it was cool, they understood my vision. Um, and then I was able to go and yeah, mask it. Like it's actually, though it's just camo, it's a real art to doing it. Especially when you consider all this is just hand I know. masked just with lines. When you actually think this is all hand done. Um, and then the stencils, so we actually, I vinyl cut the stencils. I stuck all, all the stickers on and then like airbrushed it and then peel all the stickers off. So then it's actually left with all the stencils. Stuff really like. But it's, yeah, but, but it's, it's just funny, it gives yeah, the character, yeah. Yeah, but it is just so cool. And then you took a couple of stuff out from the back as well, you did a couple of things. Yeah, so you move around like then aesthetically is the Liberty Walk um, kit, so Kato Sana, the founder of Liberty Walk, he's yes. a great friend of ours. Okay. Uh, he supports me at drifting as well, um, not in body kits for our cars, but just as a friend. And he comes out and he's at all the Formula Drift Japanese rounds cheering us on and stuff he's just <laughs> a great friend and into doing some real wild stuff so all the aero parts is liberty walk um you can see the tail end like pipes of yeah uh, down here yeah uh, fi exhaust and then we've actually cut out you know subtly kind of make it the idea is to make it look like a euro fighter uh, the, like in new zealand we don't actually even have fighter jets but yeah the italian fighter jet like the euro fighter typhoon so it's kind of trying to give it that look so we've yeah cut some scallops and holes and you know got the um, diffuser and just try expose some of the crazy work that's gone on that's hidden underneath you've literally just totally gone to town on it it's yeah you can see even like all the airbrushing where we've put on just to make it look all weathered and like it's been at war but i think my favorite point is always when it comes to the wheels yeah let's show the wheels so we work with rotiform they're yeah. in compton la yeah. and Man, they've had my back for a long time now. Whether it's we're building trolleys for like the Red Bull Downhill Trolley GP, or whether we're building pro cars to take on the world's best. See, and here we've got the nitrous bottle, and then the fire extinguisher, which we've also made look like missiles or bombs <laughs> to go with the whole Air Force thing. We've got the handbrake as well. Yeah, we've done like a half cage. We didn't want to do like full roll cage and turn it into like a full pro drift car. It's just, yeah, so do it enough, obviously that's enough for safety it's a half hoop roll cage harness bar and the handbrake as well yeah got hydraulic handbrake so um yeah that literally what we've now done is blocked off on the foot brake is 100 percent the front wheels um and then i can adjust how much rear brake it gives so you can see now you can poke through the holes we've mounted a separate caliper here so you have the lamborghini um, caliper which is factory which is on a bias switch now to you know compensate for how much pressure we want applied when i use the foot brake and then the second caliper um, is the hydraulic handbrake so because of my motocross background I can manipulate and maneuver car like through the brakes and the weight and, and that's why you will you really just yeah same car. as like a bike where you're using the front brake or the back brake to like move it around or whatever so yeah I don't know insane now that chaos oh look see, so I've got some you got some gloves in there when you buy a Lamborghini you get a, a pair of Lamborghini gloves which I think is really cool they're um they don't look like the best whoop, like mechanics gloves. I don't think you're going to be wearing them when and you And they drift. don't really look like they're great at driving gloves. But look at this. But wow. Yeah, so this is all our air ride system from Erex. So literally just slots in there. You can see we've got the tank. Uh, and then, yeah, all control valves and, and lines. So. And then, yeah, you can see that even the yeah, camo. Yeah, look at the quality. Like, look at the quality. So this the, is paint. This is not a wrap. Yeah, and just masked everything. Like, so, you have lich. This uh, is absolutely perfect, isn't it? I'm a perfection. I'm pretty OCD when it comes to building. Uh, I can tell <laughs> when you're on my cars. Funnily enough, I mean this is perfect. But it's I mean like, it's absolutely bang on, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Um, and how? And the logo. Oh no, it's, it's one of those cars where it's either like a love it or hate it kind of thing, you know. No, I love it. I'm sure some purists will be like, 
oh my gosh, what have you done? But I didn't want a Lamborghini that's just, you know, for me, it's not having a Lamborghini to showcase like wealth or money or success or whatever you would want to call it. For me, this is just like really working with our partners yeah. that are on board with our race program. Yeah. Working with Lamborghini has just been amazing and just, you know, from the Duke of Richmond, um, Lord March, just like honestly it's been a huge amount of teamwork to bring this together but it's for us hey, being able it. to showcase You've done it, our huh? style yeah so now we've got it and i just can't wait like we reveal it next week So there we go, it is time for me to head on my way and what has been an awesome day. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been awesome to be part of uh, a commercial. This is, we've done a few of these now, oh, which is quite yes. cool to be part of. Um, and yeah, massive thank you to Red Bull and how insane is the Lamborghini's world? Just first drift car, uh, meeting Mike, getting him to talk us through it all because he's a, he's a legend in the, the drifting game, etc. So a, ma a massive thanks to him. We've actually uh, just been doing all the filming and everything and the commercial, I'm going to leave all the links down below so you guys can go and check it out um, because for me it's just awesome just to be involved in these sorts of things as we leave and we have the Dakar truck behind us which is driven all the way from Russia I believe so uh, driven you don't just that's not been on a truck funny enough because uh, it'll probably crush a truck uh, but it's honestly it's just been awesome so hope you enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed for all the future videos because there are going to be so much more coming up um, exciting stuff I can't reveal too much just yet, but there is a lot of exciting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below to what you think. All this craziness. I'll see you all very soon.